Kaiju number 8 is a 2024 anime adapted from an original manga written and illustrated by Naoya Matsumoto which premiered in July 2020 and is still ongoing at the time of making this video. The first season has 12 episodes and is produced by Production IG, you know, the studio behind these other masterpieces and this anime is dope. Set in a world where extremely large monsters called kaiju run rampant, unsurprisingly, Japan is the country with the most kaiju attacks. As such, the anti-kaiju defense force is formed to take them down. These kaijus are assigned a fortitude level number based on their strength and power. Honju for strong monstrous kaiju. Yoju for basic NPC kaijus. Basically, the fortitude level is the rare to chakra haki equivalent in this show. Kaiju that have a high fortitude scale with abnormal characteristics are given a specific number. The defense force consists of field officers platoon leaders, captains, vice captains, operators, and the cleanup guys. To fight the kaiju, the defense force uses special suits uniquely modded to their preference. However, these suits aren't the same. The full potential can only be unleashed based on the skill of the user or whenever the plot requires you to. Normal rookies can only go up to 20 to 30 percent, unlocking packs like armor, agility, and a slight speed buff. However, vice captains and captains can do up to 90 percent, allowing them to wield large weapons and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with ranked kaiju. And the ultimate badass suits users can even use unique weapons crafted from dead kaiju organs. Let's not forget the operators, the other guys that work behind the scenes and give coordination of the whole missions and reports. They relay the battle plans and strategize on how to move forward. And the cleanup guys, well, they're just cleanup guys who clean up after all the action. The story follows two main characters, Kafka Hibino and Mina Ashiro, two childhood friends who both vow to fight alongside each other in the defense force after their town is destroyed by kaijus. But here's the sub part. Mina, who's 27, is already the captain of the third division with a lot of doubles to her name and is very popular. Plus, she keeps a tiger for a pet. You know, that's a really big deal. While Kafka is 32 and has failed the defense force entrance exam so many times and can only settle working for the cleanup crew, guys. Kafka meets Rino Ichikawa, a young part-timer who is also in the cleanup crew and wants to join the defense crew as much as he does. So one last time, Kafka takes his exam after Rena talks him into it and he barely manages to pass. However, a parasitic creature enters his body and he gains the ability to turn into a kaiju and not just any low level kaiju. He becomes a dai kaiju with, with such an immense fortitude power that the defense names him the kaiju number 8. <laughs> By the way, Rino saw all this, so yeah, he knows his secret. In the defense team, they meet Kikoru Shinomiya, who's a young prodigy badass and daughter to the director general of the defense team, a freaking monster who will get to him in a minute, and Soshiro Hoshina, the vice captain of the third division and a katana badass. Kafka is the literal definition of an underdog MC. Nothing ever comes to him easy, well, apart from the kaiju. Through the show, he was barely able to use over 1% of his suit, making him a liability to his teammates since he couldn't just use his kaiju powers in front of everyone. I mean, come on. He, however, uses it to save Kikoru during a mission and moving forward only these two people knew about his alter ego despite Kafka being almost useless with his suit he overcompensates with his knowledge about kaiju which always comes in handy in a fight because he stays up all night studying and this kind of impresses Soshiro Hashina he points at weaknesses he creates battle plans and carries injured comrades during battle this proves helpful in very many occasions like when kaiju number no. nine appeared <laughs> Basically, this is our first ever villain we encounter. His main ability is reviving mini kaijus killed by the defense force and aims to create an army. He disguises as a member of the cleanup crew, which if you ask me is the perfect situation for him because he gets to revive as many dead kaijus as possible. Its powers include super speed, strength, durability, ship shifting on top of quick regeneration and reviving other dead kaijus. Of course, kaiju number 8 fought with him once and he barely managed to win. As such, kaiju number 9 narrowly escapes and vows to return, which he does. Some other important major fight this season was Kaiju number 8 versus Soshino the vice captain which ended in a stalemate because Kafka didn't want to attack. By the way this fight was really good. The whole third division versus that big ass Kaiju where Kafka was forced to reveal his identity in order to save everyone from a nuke explosion which in turn led him to getting captured and having to fight Isao Shinomiya to prove he's on their side. By the way this fight was also epic. Mina is the MVP of the third division going for the big Kaijus while Soshino is a lawless swordsman going for the powerful ranked mini Kaiju like number 8 and 9. Kaiju number 8 is a breakout hit that no one completely saw coming. It's got everything. A compelling story, good premise, well-written MC, and a good side cast. Good fights, and a good balance of comedy and drama. And holy shit, one hell of an opening and closing theme song starring Young Blood and One Republic. Y'all should really listen to it. In a time when an anime is judged solely based on fight scenes and action, Kaiju number 8 takes a step back and goes back to the basics. If there are fights on the screen, they mean something. And the Kafka and Mina friendship doesn't seem forced or achieved plot point. It's actually a part of the story because of how he's always playing catch up. Overall, I'll give this first 
Amazon a 9.4 out of 10. It's a good watch and I strongly recommend it. Until next time, Koheri.